Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I apologize for not making a video um, for over a week I feel. Um, I have been really really busy with my kiddo and some competitions and work and all that stuff and I have been missing you guys so much. That's all I talk about every day. I have to film, I have to film, I have to find time to film and I'm sure it's annoying the people that are around me. But first of all, don't mind the voice. Um, spent the last few days screaming my guts out but I wanted to come to you guys with a new beauty box and it is a beauty army box this right here I received this complimentary I think it's I'm gonna get it for six months and it was a paid for six months subscription to the beauty army and I do not know too much about this box I was trying to just find out information and you pretty much just get some samples um, you pick out some products um, on the website I picked out the products that I wanted on the box so this is the box right here it says hello gorgeous your samples have arrived um, so you pretty much just fill out a profile like you do with most beauty boxes and you end up just I think this is a March box. Technically it's February because that's when I picked out the stuff, but I didn't receive it until like the beginning of March. So it comes with some stuff in here. I'm just gonna get to it. I haven't opened it, but I kinda already have an idea what I'm gonna get. So there's just a card for the L'Oreal Revitalift uh, Anti-Wrinkle Firming Eye Cream. And I've seen this of course in drugstores and stuff like that, but it's I thought it was a coupon. I guess not. Okay, so the first sample is from Eslor, The Art of Beauty, and um, it is a sample, okay, and it is a soothing refiner cleanser, refiner and cleanser, replenishing scrub and comforting mask, and soothing cream. So, I don't know, these are kind of stuck on. Okay, let's see what's in here. So, I have the replenishing scrub. Ooh, they're all stuck together the comforting mask and they come in these two it's a good amount I feel like this will be good for one good use then I have the soothing and refining cleanser and the soothing cream so I've never heard of this brand before but why not <laughs> the next sample I have here is from number seven lift and illuminate day and night serum now uh this is a boots brand this is boots number seven and they sell this at target i do not know if there's any other retailers that sell this but i do know that they sell it at target so i can't wait to try this i might try this tonight because i need some lifting and illuminating because i'm so exhausted and thank god for makeup honey because otherwise i would look a hot mess so the next sample i have here is from english laundry this is the number seven. Oh, what happened to it oh okay it fell off its box i guess um and it is a sample of a perfume i'll spray it i'm not going anywhere today Ooh, okay, that just shot up. It's not bad. It smells... I think I got a sample of something from this. English Laundry. Maybe I got it in my Birch Box. I used to get Birch Box, and they used to send me a lot of perfume samples. And the scent is very familiar. It's kind of like a clean, vanilla, musky scent. I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> made sense. Um, I don't know if that made sense. So the next thing I see here is from Burt's Bees and this is the lip crayon and I have this somewhere around here. So I do have the Burt's Bees crayon and I'm wondering if it's the same color. Sedona Sands and I have it right here. I'm not going to open this one because either I can save it or give it away to someone. So I'm going to keep this in its wrap. But this is the one I have and I would like it. At first I didn't. Um, I just there was something about it I did not like and then I just kept using it for work and it just was very very it came in handy for work so this is it right there of course it's a perfect pinky nude um, at first I guess when I was applying it it went on really drying and it wasn't moisturizing but I guess I just got used to it and I really really like it so uh, yeah so there's that um, of course this is the one I got so this is the one I already have so yeah it's a really pretty color though um, but do I recommend buying it for the, I think it's like $8 or $9 at Walgreens, what I saw it as. And I don't know how much Target or Walmart sells it for, but I'm sure it's cheaper there. 
but it's still expensive and I would not spend the money for it. So the next thing I see here is the L'Oreal Revive Lift Anti-Wrinkle and Firming Eye. So I guess I do get a sample of that. And, oh, this is a nice, ooh, it's okay, this doesn't come with any. It smells very soft. <laughs> This reminds me of something my mom used to use. Um, this is actually a really decent sample. It's 0.25 ounces. Is this a sample or a full size? Oh, this is, well, I guess right here it shows the original as 0.5 ounces. And this is 0.25, so I got like a smaller version. This will probably last me for a very long time because this is meant for around the eye. You don't need much of this. So, wow, this is pretty cool. Okay, so the last thing I got in the box was, uh, I don't know how excited I'm, I am about this because I did have an issue with a Revlon mascara, which I got today. This is the Bold Lacquer by Grow Luscious Mascara, and I think I had an issue with this same mascara um, a couple years ago. I made a video on my mascaras. I had a whole crap ton of mascaras and um this one was one that ended up getting thrown in the garbage so fast and i hope they improved their um formulation <laughs> so i hope they improved their formulation otherwise i just i'm i'm very very skeptical on trying this mascara i got the blackest black which is good because you know i like dark dark mascara and this is not waterproof, so that's always a good thing, too. I've been steering away from waterproof, even though that's what I was using. So, yeah, I'm a little hesitant to try it, but it was free. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and give this a go for a couple weeks and see how I like it. And hopefully, I don't have flakes coming down my face. That was the big issue with this. So, hopefully, they... Uh, you know amped up their or bettered their formulation so but I like that it comes with a brush I like uh, brushes with regular bristles rather than the rubber bristles so yes so that's pretty much it for my beauty army box um, the subs I'll leave the link down below for their website you can take a gander at it I I want to say it's $12 a month and I think you do end up picking out the kind of samples that you want throughout the month. Again, this was my first time picking out my samples and stuff like that. So I don't know if I get to do it every month. I haven't checked <laughs> for this month to see if I have to do anything. They haven't sent me any information, but it's uh, beautyarmy.com and I'll leave the link down below. So yeah, I mean, I like what's in here. I get to try out stuff that I wouldn't normally just go out and buy. I already have one of the items, but I'm okay with having a second one of that. I can also give it as a gift, so that's a plus. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.